All right, good morning, guys. So today we are going to be removing the 510 out of here. I just took the FD out, and then we are going to be putting the Corolla inside. And we're going to relocate the battery and change the carburetor. Because the uh, carb right now, um, my buddy Bradley, he doesn't, it's kind of old, and it's missing a few bolts and and stuff like brackets and stuff like that. So um, it's running kind of kind of rich, kind of weird, and it's really hard to adjust. It's just all jacked up. So we're going to remove the old Weber, put a brand new one in that we'll be able to adjust and tune. All right, so here's the car. You guys hear it. Sounds pretty passive. Some of the things that I want to do, this hose, this fuel hose is already cracking here. Uh, the filter, it's dirty. It just gets stay, but I would like to replace all the fuel hole, um, the relay for the fuel pump. I would like to freaking uh, tighten up those wires, cover this up. I want to be checking the timing as well. Um, while I'm checking the uh, air and fuel, make sure with a wide band uh, portable gauge that I have. Um, I want to clean this this area out right here a little bit more. Uh, yep. Yeah. Just going with this battery. We're gonna put it in the trunk. Uh, remove all this. Uh, we'll see what we do with all this crazy stuff. All right, so right now, I just made a little bit more space here. I took out the uh, radiator reservoir and the windshield wash, uh, washer uh, fluid bottle uh, with the motor. I'm gonna move the relay to this side. I'm gonna clean this wiring. I'm about to go to the parts store and get the fuel filter for it. This is the new line that I already installed. Um, so since I'm messing with the fuel right now and all this wiring, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this first, put the filter on and start it up. Make sure there's no leaks, make sure everything's fine. After that, I'm gonna take this out, then do the um, the Weber carb with the brand new one. I'll test that out once I'm done with that. Then I'll clean the wiring. I'll test that out once the car starts and everything's fine. Lastly, I'll do the battery re relocation kit. Uh, one thing I've learned from experience over the years is that you don't want to do everything at once and then test everything at once. Because if something goes wrong, you won't know what was that you touched that you didn't put back together right or something's probably bad from manufacturer so whenever you guys do more than one upgrade just do one at a time test it out and then go to the next one that's just from experience back with the most expensive black tape in the world the scotch 3m super 33 plus this thing was like seven freaking dollars for a row of black tape and we continue okay so right now I relocated the uh, relay right now, right there, and then um, new filter, new lines, and I want to fix all this. All this is going to be taped up, and the wiring is going to be done, but that's going to be after. look exactly the same the only difference that I see is that this one the old one doesn't have to show doors and the new one does and the inlet for it the fitting for the fuel to go in is on the opposite side so I'm going to switch that out real quick and put it on the other side
All right, so we got the carburetor installed. It was extremely easy. It's pretty much bolt on, bolt off. I just had to switch the butterfly uh, hookup for the throttle body cable and hook up the vacuum line back again. So now, turn it back on. Make sure that there's no leaks and that I didn't do anything wrong. Pretty sure this starter is going out. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have another YouTube video that shows how I made this. Uh, it's pretty much an AEM uh, wide band air and fuel ratio, and that's just a voltmeter uh, with a switch. Um, so I pretty much have it. All right, so remember what I said, do one thing at a time. So now that I put the relay back in and all the wiring, I taped everything up, um, the fuel pump's not getting good connection. So the fuel pump never turned on. Um, so now that I'm, let me turn the fan off. So now that I'm moving the wiring, I have a force connection down here. And you guys can hear it. So I need to see which connector is the one that's not working properly. All right, so the starter is done. Does not want to start anymore. So I got to go to Bradley so he can send me a starter. Then I'll do the starter. After I do the starter, I'll do the battery. So there's no point of doing the battery right now when the starter doesn't even work for me to test it. So um, the only thing we did was the carburetor, new fuel lines, rewire the whole left side of the car. I'm also going to need a radiator uh, reservoir. A different one because that one the original was all jacked up so yeah so a radiator reservoir starter and then we'll do a battery relocation kit i don't want to baby <laughs> 